What's the difference between oil and soft pastels? If you wanted to know, stick around. G'day ladies and gents, welcome to x Art. I'm Chrissy. thanks for joining me. Well, I was thinking the differences between oil and soft pastels. Um, they're two totally different mediums. So I thought to do um, a quick little video or a little overview about uh, the different properties and why they're so different. Um, so here we go. So I've got about five points which I thought to cover. Very basic, um, just a very ba basic overview. So here we go. Uh, what is the difference, uh, the difference between uh, the two types of pastels? It's the binder. Uh, the binder in soft pastels are made up of a gum arabic, which is a hardened sap uh, from two species of an acacia tree or other water soluble compounds of names which I can't even pronounce, I'm not even going to go there, um, which are safe uh, by the way. And um, the binder in oil pastels is a mixture of a uh, non-drying oil and wax binder. And for those who may not know, gum arabic is also used as a binder for watercolour paint, which is quite interesting of course. So without getting uh, too technical, uh, together with pigment, uh, soft pastels are water soluble and oil pastels are oil based. So my next question, how do they lay? Well, because they're made up of uh, different binding mediums, um, they lay quite differently. Um, one, as you can see, is um, uh, dry and powdery, and the other is moist and quite tacky uh, between my fingers. Uh, the surface is probably the thing to consider here. For example, oil pastels can be used on canvas, wood, glass, paper, and painting panels, um, where soft pastels can be used on paper and especially ground surfaces. So you need to ground, for example, if you're painting um, with soft pastels on a canvas, you would probably need, most likely, you would need to um, apply um, a ground specifically made for pastels. So how would you store both pastels? Uh, ultimately, I find uh, the best way to store uh, soft and oil pastels are behind glass. Um, if you didn't want to go down that track, um, covering your work with glycine paper is probably the next best thing. Um, I have made a video on how to store those, and so I will put a, a pop-up card for that. Perhaps maybe if you're interested you can view that. So I must say, I haven't completed many projects with oil pastels, but the thing you need to know is that oil pastels never fully dry. Uh, they do fix and harden. Uh, so I suppose that's something to consider. So apart from completing artwork with oil pastels, uh, they're great to use uh, in mixed media projects. Uh, for example, I've seen some artists use them for details or small accents in oil paintings. Now, that's not to be confused with the oil sticks uh, because they're oil paint. So just be wary of that. So for... Um, what blending mediums can be used for both pastels? So with soft pastels, as they're water soluble, you can blend them with water, uh, which is a great technique that I use quite often. And I put, uh, and I'll put, sorry, um, uh, another pop-up card so you can see perhaps maybe one or two projects where I've used this method. But with oil pastels, a great way to blend is odorless mineral spirits or any artist uh, terpenoid. Um, that oil painters use. Um, you can also uh, blend with your fingers, uh, brushes, um, uh, blending pastel tools. So, I mean, here's a bit of trivia uh, with oil pastels. Uh, I've read that um, uh, Pablo Picasso, uh, who for many years, uh, he was unable to find oil pastels and he somehow uh, convinced uh, Henry Sennelier 
um, a French manufacturer who specialised in high, um, high quality art products to develop an artist version of oil pastels. Now I know this is probably well documented somewhere and of course as we know Sennelier is a very well known artist manufacturer and has been around for a very long time so there's quite a few generations there that have been making fine art supplies and products so that's I just thought I'd um, put that one in there. So another question probably my last one uh, should you fix should you use a sorry you should you use a fixative or fix with a fixative and well that's a very debate that's a very debated topic and I can go on and on about this but the short version is that I know that uh, many artists do fix their work and have no problems uh, but on the other hand uh, there's a lot of artists that just won't touch the stuff uh, my, for me, my preference, probably about 9.9 .9 times out of 10, I wouldn't use uh, fixative. Um, uh, but I suppose that all boils down to what surfaces you're using. And I think, I, I mean, I could do a whole program just on the pros and cons about that. So if you were to ask me which pastel I prefer, it's like all the mediums I, I play around with, each one has its pros and cons. Um, of course, I've I had more experience with dry pastels. So based on that, I'm probably leaning towards the soft pastels. Uh, so that may not be um, a fair question to me. But if I used oil pastels for long enough, I would probably say that I can't make up my mind. Uh, I actually had a lot of fun with this project um, and trying to uh, distinguish the difference um, uh, between the two mediums um, and I enjoyed doing both of those actually so um, just thought I'd put together this um, little overview um, I hope you enjoyed that Well, thanks for checking that out. If you've had experiences with um, soft and oil pastels and you wanted to share, uh, maybe perhaps it's some information which I haven't covered, uh, I'd really like to hear about it. Uh, please leave your comments in the comments section below. If this is the first time uh, you've visited here uh, and you wanted to see more of my videos, uh, please subscribe, share, and uh, don't forget to hit that notification uh, bell icon. That way uh, you'll get notified of when I upload uh, my videos. But until the next time, bye for now.